Alrighty, hey guys, this is an, um, our new coin acceptor that we just got. Uh, it's a six coin, or it could be programmed to accept up to six different coins. We did order the three coin model off of Spark Fun Electronics for $19.99. I do like the, the design of the three coin model better, just more classic to it, arcade style with metal. But this is the six coin that sent it to us for some reason, and it's it works. I mean, I like it. I prefer six over three. That's more. The more the merrier, but still. Um... They offer the six coin model, but it's a lot more. I didn't feel like spending that money, but yeah, we still got it. So, um, yeah, let me show you what this thing um, does. It will be at one point hooked up into our access control system, which I'm not going to show you the access control system right now, but pretty much what it's set to do. You don't have to give somebody one of these chips. No, it's not the kind of access control system you're thinking about. Um, you don't have to give somebody if you will, just you know want to grant them one time access. Because you'd give it to them, and don't trust me, I have to deactivate the chip. Um, and, I mean, you can do that, but it's just a lot of hassle, and you may lose that chip. So you just give them a token, they put it in, and it unlocks the door for them. So, sometimes it doesn't necessarily accept them the first time. Uh, probably because there's dust on the sensor. I mean, we are working with drywall here, because you can see all the dust that comes off of it. Most of the time they do get accepted. I mean, it's better to reject a good coin than to accept a bad coin, if you know what I mean. I mean these are the same coins. These came out of our slot machine, and I just took the coins that were the same. These are just a hair bigger than the quarter. <clears throat> um, you can see two of them side by side. You can see that they uh, they go in pretty good, and then they not jam down that time, but most of the time it doesn't jam. And then again, or it does jam. Sometimes it does jam them, but it's just easy just to re reject it. Um, and uh, you can see that if you push, push the coin return button, it does move the slide thing. It does move that over so coins could fall. Show you behind it. Um, but once co the coin w comes down and starts to fall, it's too late to reject the coin. Uh, this generally all would open. This all would open, even this thingy. But since it's pushed so close, you know, it's not going to open. It's a very tight fit. This is the coin box, so I'll get to that in a second. This is kind of an anchor. It's not attached to anything. It's just screwed in. So it's because there's no stud right here. Uh, it wouldn't make sense to screw it into drywall because drywall is very weak. So it, it'll just you, can, so you can just pull it out. This side's screwed into the stud though, so that's good. Uh, and it makes it pretty strong. Not the best uh, method, but it works. Um, pretty much what the coin does. It comes in, falls down and out of that little chute right there. And in this coin box. And what I like about this setup is so I can pick the coin box up and just dump it back into the bucket. I don't have to pick every single little coin out of the box. I like this little one right here. This is the original setup. Uh, I had two small drywall screws. I set it right here. Hang on. And, uh, and I didn't really think about it. So I just decided to zip tie it in these two holes so to stay sturdier. Because... The screws were much shorter than these, so it could, we kind of be leaning over this way a little bit. So I kind of try to keep it down, but it still would lean. Um, and coins would fall in between here, and it, it just wasn't very good. I had to pick every single coin out of the box every time it got full. So it's, it wasn't very efficient. But uh, this core box is a lot better. It's bigger. Um, like I said, it's not stuck in yet because we haven't figured out how to do it. Because it's kind of an advanced system that would have. I mean, it's doable, but uh, I kind of wish it was more like this. This coin box or coin mechanism where once a quarter or a coin falls in it, it just passes through the micro switch and then it opens or closes the contact. Your choice. Um, but this one doesn't. It'll either send out a three or line one or three volt pulse. Pulse. And, um,. Yeah, I just don't like that. I kind of wish it were, because we'd have to put up a relay switch, circuit and everything. I just kind of wish it were more of, 
you know, we could just hook it in line to our uh, locking mechanism, so it'll, you know, disrupt it and it'll let it let you through for a second or two. But it is what it is. Can't complain. I mean, it's a nice coin mechanism. Anyways, that's it.